I don't even really know if I want to read on this, to be honest, but it's coming up for a reason. So um, these people have been pretending to be your friend. They've been pretending to, um, you know, have your back or, you know, um, maybe somebody set you up with someone and the whole time it was a setup, you know, this is the, the feeling that I'm picking up on. Like you've been, you've been catfish, you've been something, something happened here um, where there's like a group of people who are definitely, it's like they're out to get you. Okay. These people are out to get you and it's a group of people. I'm just going to call them haters, I guess. I don't know. But look at what we have here. I feel like Hi everyone, welcome back to Turning Tides Tarot. My name is Alicia. Thank you so very much for being here. Thank you for your time, your energy exchange. Thank you for your likes and shares and comments. Thank you for subscribing here and helping our channel and our tribe grow. Y'all are seriously the best. Um, yeah, if you haven't done so yet, you can definitely rock that uh, like button or hit the subscribe to get more from yours truly. Um, yeah, okay, awesome, just thank you. <laughs> Thank you overall. We're going to bring the bowl and then we're going to start a reading. I don't know what it's going to be about here. Um, and yeah, hopefully the title uh, brought you in here for some type of reason, some type of message, right? Okay, so um, yeah, let's just do the thing. <laughs> Calling on spirit with so much love and so much gratitude. I ask for divine guidance as I interpret these messages. Oops. Uh, may they help us all on our journey towards our highest and greatest good. I'm asking for love, joy, peace, abundance, and protection for myself, for you, and for all beings on the planet. At this time, thank you so much, spirit. Woohoo! Okay, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Uh, when I was ringing that bowl, I was seeing somebody like peeking through the blinds, like. I don't know what that was about, so I'm just going to hold off and see if something like that. I don't know why. Like, somebody, like, looking in on you or somebody watching you, perhaps. I mean, um, I was shuffling for myself earlier, and the Page of Swords kept coming out, and I was like, oh, gosh. Um, am I being watched? But I'm, I'm like, of course. So like, I have a YouTube channel. I'm being watched. <laughs> But I mean, something like more than that, I feel like there could be somebody who's keeping an eye on you here. Um, I don't know if this is good or if this is bad. We're not sure. We're not sure. Too sure yet. Okay. Many options, decision, unconventional, stringing along one night stand, keys on a ring. Okay. Keys on a ring came out. Let's see what else is here. This is um, stabbed in the back. Holy crap. What? <sighs> Stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. Oh my gosh. Okay, somebody here has been um, stringing you along. Uh, someone, somebody here that you um, trusted or believed in or I don't know, like this could be a friend or a family member. It's not you know, just about love. It doesn't have to be about love. Okay. It could be a coworker, but I feel like there was somebody here has been stringing you along as, as far as like making you believe that you can trust them. When in fact, um, all they've been doing is finding ways, watching you and finding ways in which they can hurt you, which is totally jacked. This is not cool. Just give me a second here. This is messed up. Hold on. Yeah, this could be a friend. Okay, this could be a friend. We got the coffee cup deck. Sorry, it's just taking me a minute to tap into this vibe. I was not expecting this. Um, I wasn't expecting this. Not a good thing. Not a good thing. So um, there's people gathering, even like a group of friends or coworkers or somebody. Um, there's people. There's more than one person getting together. They're getting together, perhaps over coffee, and you are the topic of conversation. This is happening behind closed doors. This is happening behind closed doors. And I feel like you know that storyline of like, and they've made so many Hollywood movies about it. 
like setting up like the nerd and the jock or something and it's all one big joke or something like that. Okay, this is what I'm feeling like. I hope you it's like um it's like a group of people purposefully plan some type of experience for you. It could have been involving like a one night stand or like I even just got like catfishing. Oh my god. There's like a group of people that you trusted or thought they were your friends. Meanwhile, behind the scenes, they're like plotting on you, seriously plotting on you, um, trying to hurt you, trying to bring you down, trying to, um, <laughs> I just heard my big brother Trend's voice. I don't know if you y'all follow, um, Trend Genius, but I just heard his voice saying, um, these Decepticons, Decepticons. <laughs> If y'all haven't tuned into uh, Trend Genius, check him out. Okay, he's freaking hilarious and awesome. Um, anyways, anyways, you got some haters. <laughs> definitely got some haters, but these ones are vicious. These ones are mean. These people are like definitely low vibe. Definitely low vibe people who are who have been plotting against you. Um, and it's 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 like an elaborate plot, a very elaborate pl plot here. Ugh. I don't even really know if I want to read on this, to be honest, but it's coming up for a reason. So um, these people have been pretending to be your friend. They've been pretending to, um, you know, have your back or, you know, um, maybe somebody set you up with someone and the whole time it was a setup. You know, this is the, the feeling that I'm picking up on. Like you've been, you've been catfished. You've been something, something happened here um, where there's like a group of people who are definitely definitely out to it i don't want to be like i don't want to scare anybody or get anyone like in that fear vibration because that's the lowest vibration you can be in and it's just like it's like they're out to get you okay these people are out to get you and it's a group of people i'm just gonna call them haters i guess i don't know but look at what we have here and i feel like this is your energy and this is the reason why not that like, we really need to know why these people are shit. I'm just going to say it. Like, these people are shit. Okay? You need to get these people out of your life. If you've been suspecting, okay, if you have been feeling a little bit, like, off in a situation or feeling like, okay, that's not right. Why would they say that? Or if, you know, when you walk into a room, I don't know if you've ever had this, okay? I've definitely had this, especially, like, you know, I don't know. I resonate with being, like, like, Hayoka hey, empath. Like, my energy can, like, really mess with people. <laughs> So much like they'll like literally leave a room because it makes them feel uncomfortable. And it's like um, when you have a certain kind of energy, um, you can really disturb people's demons. <laughs> you can really piss off their demons. Okay. I don't know. I hope y'all are picking up what I'm putting down. You have disturbed many people's demons. Okay. Like you walk into a room and all of a sudden it gets quiet. And you're like, well, hey, what's going on? These are supposed to be your friends. It's like, you know, or you have this feeling that everybody was talking talking a bunch of shit and you're just like okay does anyone want to say it to my face like <laughs> come at me bro like here I am I'm right here I've got two ears and I'm listening like you know um <laughs> this is the kind of thing here um but I feel like you in, your energy intimidates them and I'll tell you why your energy intimidates them you are very strong you are very powerful and this is why like <sighs> when you are of the light you are prone to attacks Let's just say that you're prone to attacks. It is what it is. Okay. Your light, the light you carry within is so strong, so powerful. It literally pisses off people's demons. Okay. It really bugs them um, just to be around you. Like they can't stand it. So they're going to try to take you down, but that's because they have low level entities attached to their auras. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I'm probably going way over some people's heads here, but it is what it is. This is what I'm picking up on. So um, oh dang, ascending, your energy is ascending. I haven't even gotten to this point yet because this is really disturbing energy. Okay. Um, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase of your life, preparing for union. Okay. So this is that kind of an energy. And I feel like you have been doing just that. I feel like you have been doing your own thing. You've been succeeding. You've been doing whatever, like whatever it is, you're really good at it. Okay. <laughs> whatever it is, you've been like, just getting your life together. You know, you've been, you've just been rocking that life lately. And I feel like you've been overcoming a ton of obstacles. Nothing that these people do seem to like touch you. And I want to be very clear about that. It's like, it's not really phasing you either which way. I just feel like 
it's like there was this major plot on you or this major, you know, somebody trying to like hurt you, purposefully hurt you. Now, I don't necessarily mean physical. I mean like emotionally, like, like they were trying to bring you down, okay? Trying to knock you down a peg, you know, because you're doing too good or you're, you know what I mean? Like they don't believe you deserve that or whatever the case, like they see you succeeding in some way or maybe you are just like sometimes when you're um, on a glow up, let's say, and you are becoming successful, it really shows people like when they they look at you what they see it's like their own it's their own it's a mirror it's a reflection of themselves right so they see you doing good they see you doing your own thing they see you like just rocking at life right whatever it is that you're doing if this is your reading and it reminds them of all the ish they're not doing okay <laughs> it reminds them of the of the whole bunch of nothing that they're doing right with their own lives and so they get mad and instead of focusing on themselves or perhaps even asking you well hey how are you doing this like could do you have any pointers can I, could you help somebody out like instead of doing that basically what what they do what they end up doing is trying to freaking knock you down okay this is them trying to knock you down put you in your place, you know, <laughs> oh my gosh, these people are so low vibe, like, um, whoever, I feel like this could even be something that was like, I don't know if it has to even be really recent, it could be something that was like in the past a little bit here, I don't know, I don't know when this was, but here we have palm trees, so this is um, stability, security, performance, growth, endurance, and flexibility, it's like nothing that they try to throw at you actually sticks, <laughs> and underneath that and listen to this okay and it's so funny okay so funny the energy that's around this is I like you someone likes you <laughs> romance is blooming fun flirting wanting to date somebody may have like um some petty I'm getting petty feminine energies like this is some high school shit this is like some high school drama right here okay get this I, I'm like somebody like put someone up to asking you out okay could be that put someone up to it and so that they could try to um you know hurt you in some way or just to reject you or just to make you feel like you're not you're not so special like you're not you're not all that <laughs> i don't know it's like these people are petty it's all hell i don't want to give them a lot of time i don't even know if i'm going to post this the thing is, is they like you so much. It's like, um, I, I keep thinking about trend. Like I was just <laughs> seriously, if you watch this trend, this is hilarious to me because I'm recording this reading. Um, and I was just tuning into, um, your latest message that was talking about like how haters love you so much. And I'm like, I'm picking up on hater energy right now. And it was like, haters are your biggest fans, but they really truly are. And I'll tell you something. Okay. They like you so much, but they, they like you so much. They hate you. They like you so much. They hate you. But they can't stop watching you. They can't stop spying on you. They can't stop checking out what you're doing. <laughs> And like they're plotting, like they're trying to like find ways to pick you apart and find ways to like uh, bring you down instead of working on themselves, instead of doing something for themselves. They're just wasting their own time, wasting their own life on you. But it's like uh, you give them something to talk about, you know, like their lives are pretty boring. Okay, if you think about it, their lives are pretty boring. Um, I just wanted to say something hilarious. I have a number one hater fan. I do. And I don't, I have an idea of who it might be in my real life. Okay. Um, but it's hilarious. This person, get this, this person obviously has their notification bell turned on to, to readings. And as soon as I post a reading, as soon as I post a reading, they thumbs down it, which doesn't even mean anything to YouTube. Like they took away the dislike count because it really doesn't matter. It's it's engagement with your audience. So the, the thumbs down actually does help creators because it's engagement. YouTube doesn't give a shit if you like it or if you don't. If they really don't care. It's interaction, right? That's what they count. So it actually goes to give your that creator some some type of points, basically. I don't know what it is. Internet stuff. Anyways. It's hilarious. So like they like they hate you. So they like you so much that they watch everything you do. They pay attention to everything they, that you do. They're always on top of your shit. Um, <laughs> and as soon as it's like they, just to just to shit on it, like just to hate on it, just to like thumbs down your content or whatever. It's like um, they're never going to like write a comment. They're never going to reach out. They're never going to anything. It's like these people are just 
I don't know. It's like they're obsessed. It's like these haters are obsessed. Okay. Obsessed with you and what you're doing. Um, <laughs> so much so it's like laughable. It's laughable. It's like get a life, right? Get a life. Seriously, get a freaking life. Um, it's funny. It's not going to affect you. It's basically what I'm getting back around to. It's like they tried so hard to like mess with you, mess with your project, mess with your goal, mess with you at work, mess with you in your love life. Um, <laughs> like these elaborate plots and they're all sitting around like talking about it. Now they're all, it could be just two people. It could be three, but I'm getting more of like a group of people, um, a group of people like sitting around in a coffee shop, just fucking talking mad shit doing nothing with their lives. <laughs> wow. Okay. Anyways, whoever they are, forget about them. Forget them. Forget them. There's another creator I love. And every time I think of something like this, um, her name is Latoya Okia and she's really awesome. And, uh, she always says, forget them folks, you know, and that's what this is. Forget these folks. Forget these folks. <laughs> that's the thing is like your energy is so strong and so powerful. You're coming up as the queen of pentacles. You are rocking life right now. Whatever you are doing, your projects, your goals, um, your health, whatever, whatever this is, okay? Um, your home, your family, your finances, you're looking good. You're looking good and you are perfecting your craft. You're working on the self. This could even just be like self-love. Like this is somebody who loves themselves. Um, and then there's people that see them loving themselves and like, I don't love myself. Like, ugh, where do you get off? Like being confident. <laughs> oh my gosh. These people need help. These people need some serious help. Definitely need help. But anyway, you're doing good. <laughs> you're doing so good that you've got yourself a group of haters. And that's that saying, right? Like haters make you famous. That's because they can't stop. Like your name is always on their lips, right? And they don't understand that by them talking about you all the time, they're actually making you more popular. It's, it's really quite funny. It's so funny to me. We have the hermit mode and I feel like this is you. It's like you've been quietly minding your own business, quietly doing your own thing, focusing on your calling, focusing on your work, um, trying to align with what it is that you feel like you are meant to do, like you're being guided uh, by spirit here. You're listening to your intuition. You're not paying attention to the opinions of others. And I just heard this other like cliche thing and it was like, lions don't lose sleep over the opinion of sheep and you are not and it, you're not losing sleep okay you aren't losing sleep at all you're sleeping really good <laughs> you don't even care um it's kind of funny because with the hermit too i feel like you're like making all these moves like super low key and it's driving these people mental because they have nothing to work with they've literally got nothing to work with um, you don't post about where you go. You don't post about who you hang out with. You don't like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like a lot of you are just like low key glowing up, like, and it's driving these people mad. It's driving your haters mad because you're not giving them any fuel to work with. They don't know what's going on in your life. Um, <laughs> they don't know what's going on behind the scenes and it's driving them a little bit crazy. So it just, it's, it's running them. They're running at the, like running off at the mouth. Um, it's like, like high speed, like high speed. They can't stop talking about you. It's so funny. Okay. Good for you. You're doing something right. You're doing something right. Disturbing their demons. Good for you. <laughs> oh man. Y'all got to check out, um, trend genius. It's hilarious. He's hilarious. Um, anyways, we have nine of cups, nine of cups energy. This is you getting your wishes, aligning with your wishes, your hopes, your dreams, working on yourself, working on your projects. You're happy. You're like, look what I got. What I got nothing go like I'm good. I'm good with where I'm at. I don't need you really don't need these people. You really don't need them. They're they're whatever they're plotting on you, it isn't really working. I feel like <laughs> it's funny. It is funny. Page of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. Like I'm really getting that there's even people watching like from a distance. Like these people may not even be um part of your world. This could be just like people um, like online or something like that, social media, whatever. I don't know. I just get like a common, like it could be a chat room, I guess, but I'm getting like a coffee shop type of a vibe where there's people coming together and just like, could be typing, I guess, but it's more like just talking about you. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. I don't know why. I just keep going back to that. But there's a like somebody, there's somebody here. 
Like you're not even focused on them. I feel like this is energy of your past. This is past people. It feels really high school. This could be like the energy of uh, perhaps you recently went to like a high school reunion or something like that, you know, or ran into some old friends or something like that. And, you know, they're like, oh, you know, you've changed. You're better. What you think you're better than me or like something like that. Or they see you just being successful and they see you just doing you and rocking, rocking that confidence and being freaking awesome. Um, and it's just like, it really, it really disturbs them. It really disturbs them. They want to bring you down. Okay. They want to bring you down to their level. Um, and I feel like, you know, you're just, you're not even looking in their direction. Two of Wands, you're looking out to the future. You're not even looking. These are people from your past. Oh, yeah. So the, the high school reunion could be like all these people that maybe you knew in high school or something. There's little birds. <laughs> it's springtime. <laughs> little birds are out. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. What's the point of this message? What's the point of this message? Page of Pentacles. Oh, here it is. There's a little bit of a warning. Here's the point. Going back to this, like, I feel like they may try to like offer you something or, you know, if somebody reaches out um, and you know that or you have a feeling that these people do not have your best interest and they're the type of people who just sit around and gossip and, you know, they don't have any lives of their own and whatever. If one of them comes at you with some type of, oh, I have this gift or why don't you come to this party or, you know, if they extend some type of invitation here to you, like let's go on a date or something like that, I would shoot that shit down in a hot minute. I'm just telling you because I feel like it's a trap. <laughs> I feel like it's some type of trap here, but I feel like you also are like, hmm, I think, I feel like you're already aware of it. I feel like you don't even trust these people anyways. So I don't know the devil. There it is. The devil, the emperor. Oh, dang. This could be, um, oh, yeah, no, not good. Okay, Emperor and the moon and the moon underneath. There is something hidden here. Some of you uh, could even resonate with this being like connected to, um, oh, man. It could even involve somebody like a boss or somebody in your life, some type of, I want to say like structure. There's two messages here. Some of you, this could be like, um, someone you may have once considered to be like, I'm just going to say it like a, a divine masculine could be. Okay. They aren't. Okay. They aren't. They are a trickster. This would be somebody who is like narcissistic or something or it's somebody who's trying to hoover you just to like bring you down. Um, for some, not for everybody. Um, for others of you, this is somebody who is like in charge. Like, I don't know, I keep getting high school references. Like, you know, this is like even the even the teachers are in on it. You know, <laughs> like this is like, it is so bad. It is so low vibe here with the devil. Do not be tempted. They're going to tempt you. They might show up. Um, like they may present themselves to be large and in charge or this emperor mode, like they've got everything under control or, you know, like they're hot shit or something like that. Um, coming forward, coming towards you, asking you out on a date or wanting to take you somewhere or inviting you to a party. You know, it is, it's a trap. It's a trap. Okay. And I know this, this message is not going to be for everybody, but I don't even know if I'm going to post it. It's weird. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The, uh, the moon. There's a lot of secrets here. There's a lot of secrets. There's a lot of um, underhanded vibes here. It's going to, it's going to be, there's going to be a message coming in. <coughs> Pardon me. There's going to be a message coming in here. That's going, it is going to be tempting. It's going to be an offer that tempts you, but you're going to see right through it here. Here's the tower. It's like, <coughs> part of me, um, part of me. Hold on one second. It's like, Hold on. <laughs> I really need that. Okay. Um, I feel like it's going to, like, you're going to shoot them down. I feel like you're going to see through this. I feel like um, this could be some type of warning. And it's going to blow their whole plan apart. <laughs> they're going to try to impress you. Like, they're going to just try to be on their A game here. I'm getting really irritated in my, oh, I just hit the mic. I don't know if that was a thing, but hold on. Seriously, y'all, I am all of a sudden very irritated in my throat. This is just running uh, water at the moment. So it's not like related to any essential oils or anything. Hmm. Why the tower? Oh, judgment. Oh, dang. At the bottom of the deck. Look at that judgment. 
Yeah. Um, you're going to be able to see right through them. I feel like you're going to be placing a judgment. I feel like you might even call them out. Yeah, they're about to get some, <laughs> they're about, to, okay. The more they try to mess with you, the harsher the punishment is going to be for them. Like, I'm just going to be real as far as like karma is concerned here, because when judgment shows up, it's like, uh, it's, it's judgment day. <laughs> it's judgment day. Like you're either in or you're out. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like I, I, I'm not even getting like specific details here. Six of wands in reverse. This is, th this is their plan not succeeding. This is you seeing through something. This is you like not being fooled. Okay. I, I feel like your eyes are wide open. And I feel like your intuition is on point with these people. And I feel like um, if it feels funny, if this, it just feels like, well, where is this even coming from? Why are you even talking to me? What is this all about? Like, this feels weird. It feels out of place. It's a trap. It's a trick. They're trying to like expose you, but meanwhile, they're going to be exposed. There's nothing to expose about you. <laughs> and I just heard like, oh, oh, your past. Oh, your pa you did this and then you did that and you did that. It's like, bitch, please. Like we, people grow and change. People make mistakes. Okay. These people are still stuck in freaking like 1994 or whatever the case. They're like, and I mean, this, this could be something that happened a long time ago. Well, this is like some petty ass shit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't even, I don't even really want to take this any further really, but let's talk about this judgment. Yeah. It's not going to be successful here, whatever this is. Oh yeah. About the power. Oh, I'm going to try to expose you. I'm going to try to expose your, your secrets. And you're like, I don't even care. You want me to talk about that? Like <laughs> I'm over it. <laughs> it's not a big deal to me anymore. Um, <laughs> I've grown, you know, I've grown since 1994, like, uh, you know, <laughs> whatever the case, right? I'm just using that random year. Um, that could mean something for someone here. I don't know. Um, but it's like, you're fine on your own. You are not in that space of lack. Like there's, you've gotten over it. These people are still stuck in the past. They're stuck in the past here over something that was said or something that was done. Um, it's like, give it up, let it go. Like, let it go let it go, man. Um, it just feels like, you know, these people are like, it's like punishing themselves. Like they're just stuck in this time loop and they can't get over something from the past here. Maybe, maybe you did something in the past that like rubbed them the wrong way or whatever the case. I mean, it's, it's over, it's over, whatever it was. This feels like a 20 year or 30 year like revenge plot. <laughs> That's not, it's not even gonna hit. It's not even gonna hit. But you know what, like spirit sees, spirit sees people's intentions and people's true heart and judgment will be placed upon them. It's really, none of our business. I don't even really want to get into the detail. Uh, just know that spirit's going to like forget them folks. Like as Latoya Okia would say, and I think I'm going to get one of her shirts. Like she's got a shirt that says forget them folks, because seriously, forget them folks. Like who cares? Um, spirit sees them. It's not going to work on you. Don't take up, take them up on any of these offers. Um, don't go out with them. Don't go like stay far away from these people because they're like, they're just trying to um, get you into some type of vulnerable position here <laughs> so they can expose you you know but the, the the thing is is they're exposing themselves by doing that they're exposing themselves to spirit like as being um yeah yeah of having like a, a very dark um I don't know it just it just straight up feels a little bit evil honestly you know it does <laughs> it does it's like the darkness you know it's like the darkness attacking the light so I feel like it is. I don't know. I don't know if I'm even going to post this. You know what? I'm. Uh, let's just get like a universe has my back on this because I feel like the universe has your back and it's nothing to worry about. Just a little bit of drama. <laughs> just a little bit of drama, but it's not even touching you. So it's not even a thing. Like it's not even a thing here. It's just funny. They're coming up in, in the collective energy. Like some of y'all are doing really good. Congratulations. Uh, for pissing off all these people and their demons. <laughs> and if you haven't, uh, I, I'm going to say it again. Go check out Trend Genius. He's hilarious. He is so funny. He's got good advice too, uh, especially if you resonate with being like a star seed or a chosen one. Um, <laughs> 
yeah, yeah, he's definitely good. Let me know in the comments if you if you already know who I'm talking about. But I call him, he calls himself Big Brother Trent, and I'm like, yeah, and I always say Big Bro. Um, <laughs> I'll like be up in his comments, like, yeah, Big Bro, you know, <laughs> haters. They're so funny. Anyways, um, but I'm probably older than him. <laughs> I'm probably much older than him. Um, here we go here. We have the presence of love will always cast away fear. Um, if you really want to piss these people off, you just say, um, I'll, I send you love. I send you love and light. You know, I send you love and light. That's going to really piss them off. Um, and, you know, if you do it from an honest place, like you, you don't have to be scared of these people. Just, just oneness is my true <laughs> oneness is my true nature okay just stay zen you know it's not gonna touch you it's not even gonna bother you um it's not gonna it's like they're trying to like make you go broke or something like I don't even want to get into what they're trying to do I have a little bit on the table here but it's like you're still standing strong as this nine of pentacles like nothing's gonna hit you um and the, the digger it's it's the digger they deep the deeper they dig themselves into the hole it's like the more harsh spirit's gonna spirit's gonna deal with them they're gonna get a spiritual spank for this okay i'm just saying they're about to get a whooping a spiritual whooping for this anyway i'm gonna just this is it this is the reading okay i'm sending you lots of love i'll be back with like i'm gonna sage out this energy um if anything i feel like um hope hopefully you got a good laugh out of this one okay uh sending you lots of love take care <laughs> keep pissing off those demons and have a wonderful um day, night, evening, morning until I see you next time. Okay. Bye.